Pacific State was one of the classic dance songs at the turn of the decade, right between the 80s and 90s. And as such, of course, it features the iconic Roland TR-909. It was also the winner of the latest drum pattern poll on our Patreon, so thanks everyone for voting. So, what's in store for us? Well, this is basically a blueprint for danceable ambient house tracks. A quick to program 909 beat with extra percussion and a really weird sample on top. You won't need a 909 though, we'll build everything from scratch on the Hapax, so you can recreate this on any drum machine or in your DAW. Hello everyone, this is... We'll be looking at the original extended version of Pacific State, one of the many many versions of the song released at the time. There are two main patterns. That's a no-brainer. Put a kick on every beat. 124 BPM. People need to dance to this. Clap on the 2 and 4. Classic. Cram two more kicks into the last beat so it's not too generic. This is still missing one essential ingredient, and that's swing. Not quite triplet swing, a little bit less. Ah, much better. This just works. A good foundation. To make more prominent use of the swing, and of course also to provide some glue, we'll add hi-hats. Turn a few of these into open hats. Wonderful. No swing. Choppy robot movements. Swing. House dance moves. To bring a little more bounce into the track, we're going to sprinkle on some accents. I'll make a copy of the pattern so we can compare it later. The 909 famously had this total accent feature, where you could place additional global accents on a separate accent track that stacked with the individual accents on the instruments. But here in the Hapax, we can just program different velocities per step. All of these currently equal an accented step on the 909. And now I'll raise the velocities of any kick or hat that's directly on a beat, which equals a total accent. Not the hand clap though. You'll see why in pattern 2. Let's compare the two versions. Wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. Or rather, the bird in the room. Pacific State very prominently features a sample of a bird call. 808 State's Graham Massey says they used it to add to the tropical nature of things. And while to some people this might sound like a very exotic bird that could be found in a jungle or on a tropical island, nothing could be further from the truth. This is a common aquatic bird called Loon. 808 State got it from an Akai S900 sample library, but it's also on the library discs of the Emulator 2 sampler. That's also where the Shakuhachi flute in Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer came from. Those discs are a treasure trove of music history. Anyway, cut away the last lower bit of the bird call. Give it a tiny bit of release and increase the attack so the initial lower part isn't as prominent. Finally, add some delay and reverb. Let's place the sample on the sequencer. Two bars, the first one is empty. The second bird call is less loud, just an echo of the first one. This needs a lot more swing than the 909 pattern for the bird calls to land in the right place. This is a very busy pattern. Rapid fire on the kicks and closed hats. Don't worry, as soon as we add swing, this will fit in much better. Some hand claps. A crash cymbal. And finally the accents. On this pattern, only the 1, 2 and 3 get a global accent.
And here's the reason we didn't go full velocity on the hand claps in pattern 1. On the 909, the hand clap wasn't affected by the total accent. On many emulations, it is though. And then it has to be unaccented, so it gets boosted by the total accent to the level of the other hand claps. This pattern is thrown in every once in a while for four bars. It creates some necessary contrast and breaks the monotony of pattern 1. Now we'll program an additional layer of percussion. I believe these are TR727 sounds, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. There's a bongo. And a conga mute. This is actually a roll, a double sub step, or two repeats. The second one's unaccented, but it's more pronounced in later parts of the song. This swings a bit harder than the 909 parts. You can just play this on top of both 909 patterns. There are two additional one-shot patterns that are played when the bass sets in at the two and a half minute mark. What's interesting is that the swing is successively reduced here, which sets a nice counterpoint. And the cymbal is tuned lower, so it has a lot more weight than in pattern 2. Watch out for these patterns in the end jam. Speaking of which, we don't have a saxophone. Well, we do have a stylophone. Okay, seems like we're good to go. Remember, if you want a handy printable overview, you can find this and many other drum transcriptions on our Patreon, along with lots of cheat sheets for your favorite drum machines, sequences, and groove boxes. Hey, you didn't even say maximum oomph or mention FX Twin in this episode. Oh, funny you should mention it. According to FX Twin, 808 State was one of his major influences.